Hey there, welcome to the Proud and Matter YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to illustrate this illustration of a couple in a long drive, all by using simple geometric shapes. So, let's start. Okay, so first of all, we are going to start with the car. So, for that, I am taking the rectangle tool and make a rectangle over here. This will be the front window. And let's make the corners round. And I'm going to copy this one again and make the front part of the car. So here I'm using transform tool to distort the shape a bit. Okay, now let's pick a color for the car. I'm just using this window as only the stroke. I'm just cancelling the fill of the shape. I'm just going to give it a darker shade of the color. Alright, so now it's time for the headlight. So I'm using the shape builder tool over here to cancel out the extra shape because I'm going to give the lower portion a darker shade of the color. Alright, so right now let's group the whole headlight parts and after that, okay, let's add some glow to it as well. So I'm going to select this circle and paste it in the same place and change its color to somewhere yellowish. Let's copy the color code and I'm going to put a gradient over here. So for that, just select the gradient tool and click over here. A ruler will come over here. So you have to come on to this gradient tab. If you don't find it over here, then just find it from here and tick mark on it. So we are going to give it a radial gradient. And after that, I'm going to change colors to the yellow. For that, first of all, change it to RGB if it's in grayscale. Same with the other one as well. And after that, I'm going to select. Okay, let's delete this gradient. And I'm going to select it and give it 0% of opacity. Perfect. So it's already looking like a bit of a glow. This is what exactly we needed. So same with the other one as well. All right, right now I'm going to select everything and just drop it, just duplicate it for the other side. So let's align it. All right, now I'm, I'm going to add some detailing on the front side of the car. So I'm going to add some detailing over here as well, somewhat similar to a Rolls Royce car. So I'm just giving it a black color for the shade and after that I'm going to go to the transparency and change it to overlay. So it's looking like a shadow now. Okay, so after that I'm going to add some bunch of rounded rectangles. Alright, so now it's time for the lower portion of the car. So I'm going to use the rounded rectangle again. Now I'm going to use another set of lights over here. So I'm going to copy the lights from here.
Okay, so now let adds the tire. I think we can change this part of the shape over here. It's not let looking good. So let's change it. All right, so right now let's add the interior of the car, some seats with the help of the rectangle tool again. So right now let's add the side windows, I mean the side mirrors. All right, so right now let's move on to add the background. Let's group the whole thing and just lock it up. Add another layer and I'm going to add a background over here, a background scenery of a night scene. Now I'm going to add the ground with a very short little rounded rectangle. So let's change the color. Okay, right now I'm going to add few buildings over here with the help of rounded rectangle. So this will be a very far away building so you don't have to be very specific about the design. You can use some rounded rectangles and circles and you can and your design will be done because it will be a very far away buildings so only the ship's uh, silhouette kind of thing will be visible from this dis distance so and after that i'm going to add a moon over here so for that i'm taking an ellipse so let's add the glow with the same technique of the gradient tool so i'm going to add the gradient and let's scale up the gradient all right okay so after that i'm going to add a rectangle over here to the to hide the ground portion so let's make it visible yeah perfect so let's change the tire colors to complete black and also i'm going to change the color of the buildings as well because it's uh, the contrast difference is not much so it's kind of blending Yeah, it's perfect. So right now I'm going to add few trees with the help of rounded rectangle. All right, so right now I'm going to add a shadow over here for the car as well. So I'm going to add a rectangle perfect and after that i'm going to just activate the transform tool and pick this one the perspective distort and after that i'm going to distort it from this edge and after that i'm going to add again a gradient this time a linear gradient and i'm going to change the direction of this ruler so for that just click on it and drag click and drag like this you can change the gradient all right and i'm going to change the color to black same for this one as well so after that I'm going to change the blending mode so I'm going to change it to overlay and let's uh, adjust the opacity yeah it's perfect so after that you can add your own characters to the car to make it even better and I'm, I have used an already illustrated character so if you want to know how to design this exact same character then the link is in the description i have already shown you guys how to design characters in flat style so i have shown you exactly these characters as well so you will get the link in the description so after that you can also add few more detailing to it and make it look even better or make your own more unique flat style looking design 
just by using the same technique so try it on your own and let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson hope you liked it and enjoyed a lot and learned from it so if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye